Good morning, good morning. March the 1st, here we are. March the 1st, there's been some sunshine this morning. It's going to be a warm day. Thank you, Lord. We're going right into Scripture. King James Bible, the book of Mark. Yesterday we read the first half of chapter 7, 1 to 13, and now we're reading chapter 7, 14 to 37. King James Bible. And when he had called on all the people unto him, He said unto them, Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. There is nothing from without a man that entering in him can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are the things that defile the man. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was entered into the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. And he saith unto them, Are you so without understanding also? Do you not perceive that whatsoever thing from without entereth into man, it cannot defile him? Because it entereth not into his heart, but into the belly, and goeth out into the draught, purging all meats. And he said, That which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For within, out of the heart of men, Proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lavishness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. And from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon and entered into a house, and would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. For a certain woman, whose young daughter had an unclean spirit, heard of him, and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a a Syrophoenician by nation, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bed, bread, and cast it unto the dogs. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. And he said unto her, For this, saying, Go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the evil gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed. And again, departing from the coasts of Tyre and Sidon, he came into the Sea of Galilee, through the midst of the coasts of Decapolis. And they brought unto him one that was deaf, and had an impediment in his speech. And they beseech him to put his hand upon him. And he took him from aside from the multitude, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spit and touched his tongue. And looking up to heaven, he sighed, and saith unto them, Ephrathah, that is, be opened. And straight away his ears were opened, and the string of his tongue was loosed, and he spake plain. And he charged them that they should tell no man. But the more he charged them, so much more a great deal they published it. And were beyond measure astonished, saying, He hath done all things well. He maketh both the deaf to hear, and the dumb to speak. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. The one thing that stuck out to me, and it it did the last time I read it, and I wrote notes in the uh, side of the page, was the woman who was a, a Greek woman. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by nation. Lincoln, come here. Um... And she besought him that he would cast the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread and cast it unto the dogs. He was referring to the children of Israel, the Jewish nation. And of course, the dogs were the Gentiles. Um, This is a derogatory term. Um, It seems that even Romans called the Jews dogs, and I guess the Jews called the Romans dogs. It, it was a derogatory term, but he used it. <laughs> Lincoln's get all excited over there. Lincoln, come here. Come here. 
And so what he said, you know, I, I must take to the needs of the children first and then the Gentiles. But she said unto him, yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. She was satisfied to just take the crumbs of what he was saying, even though it wasn't directed at her, it was directed at the chosen people. She understood that they were second place to that, and she was satisfied with whatever she could gain that was left of it. That's faith. That's beautiful faith right there. And so because of her faith and because of that, her daughter was healed. It's amazing, isn't it? It's a beautiful thing. Well, Lulu's on the other side of the door and there's a glass door and Lincoln can see her and she's barking and wants to come out. So I'm gonna curtail um, this morning's presentation, <laughs> Bible reading. And I wish you all a great day today, the first day of March. March comes in like a lamb, goes out like a lion, they say. I know it's a saying, I know it's a saying. It's not biblical, it's not Christian. It just tends to be the way things go. We'll take it. We'll take it, Lord. Hey, March can come in like a lamb, go out like a lamb, as far as I'm concerned. It's just beautiful. Our flowers are growing. The, the uh, daffodils along the side of the house are just popping out all over the place. Even tulips are breaking through the ground. and uh, It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for such simple beauty that little seeds can be planted and bear such great fruit, great beautiful flowers. Lord, do the same to us. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, God loves you. I love you too. Have a great day now. Thank you for listening. Bye.